those of you who are new to my videos, my name is Claire. I'm a self-taught makeup artist and body painter and I'm Greek. This is my entry for the NYX Face Awards Greece contest, which is a creative makeup contest and it's the first time that it's been introduced in Greece, so I thought I would take part with this body painting look. Let's all take a moment to appreciate how certain skin tones don't do any justice to the teeth. Probably don't go for a pale mint blue if you want your teeth to appear whiter. If you have any comments or thoughts or questions, please leave them down below. Otherwise, let's get straight into the tutorial. I'm starting off by running a little bit of rubbing alcohol through my eyebrows just to take away any moisture and to have them as dry as possible so they can receive the glue. So I'm going in to cover them up with regular glue stick. First I'm taking the hairs down and then brushing them up with the glue stick itself so they stick to the skin and make sure they're dry before you go on to the next step. For the skin I'm mixing in my white Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation and a green pigment by MAC. Now oddly this gave me a light mint blue but I thought I'd go with it. So you're gonna take this all over your face, over the eyebrows as well, on the ears, down the neck, on any exposed skin. For the eye makeup, I'm going in with my gel liner, which is black, and I'm starting off by drawing on a fake crease line on both eyes and two fake eyebrows right above my own. This is going to have a transformative effect on the face and it's going to make the features look much more exaggerated. So feel free to draw them as high and as far out as you want. I'm trying to keep the brows semi-natural, which is why I'm mimicking the appearance of little hairs, and I'm also deepening up the drawn-on crease quite significantly by adding much more gel liner and blending it out with my blending brush. So this is going on to the nose and it's turning into my nose contouring, which is going to be quite strict and quite theatrical, almost cartoony. So feel free to deepen up your shadows as much as you want for maximum contrast, which is really what this look needs in my opinion. taking the same gel liner right underneath my eyes, smudging it in and blending it out as much as possible. Then I'm going to prime my lids with my NARS Pro Prime eyeshadow primer. So this is just a clear primer, but it's going to help my eyeshadow stay on a lot better. And the eyeshadow in question is my MAC Pink Freeze, which is a frosty white pink. So this is going all over the lid just to, again, increase the contrast between the mobile lid and the drawn on crease. I'm lining the eyes with my black gel liner in a much more dramatic way, which means the wing is massive and it's joined up with the fake crease. Next, I'm just coating my lashes with my L'Oreal Double Extension Mascara because I'm going in with fake lashes, which are not MAC, I just keep them in a MAC case. They're going on top and bottom lash line. For the waterline, I'm applying my MAC Fascinating Eye Coal, which is just a plain white pencil. And going back to my black gel liner, I'm drawing a little flick in the inner corner, which I'm filling in with my white eye coal. Next, with my purple matte eyeshadow by MAC, I'm just diffusing the crease work even more. So that means that I'm deepening it up and fading it out at the same time. I'm doing this on top and bottom lash line just to have a bit of color on there. And then with my matte gray eyeshadow, I'm going to do the entirety of my contouring all over my face. So that means underneath the cheekbones, drawing a line up to the mouth almost, which is something I don't usually do on myself, but I really want to hollow out the cheeks this time. I'm also taking it on the hairline just to minimize my forehead and make it appear slightly rounder underneath the face for extra definition, and I'm also using it on every little nook and cranny on the face, such as the dip underneath the lips and on the cupid's bow. Back into the same black gel liner, I'm drawing a funny shaped lip, which is a bit of a Betty Boop lip or a 20s lip, however you want to call it. I'm filling the entire lip in with the same color, and I'm going in with my MAC Pearl cream color base on the high points of my face, such as underneath the drawn on eyebrows, in the middle of the drawn on nose, and on the drawn on cupid's bow. And to give some more texture and shine to this optical illusion that we are creating, I'm just filling in the entire lip with the same pearl cream color base. 
a touch of fuchsia blush on our pale mint blue complexion because why not and we're ready to move on to the body painting part so I'm going to be using water-based colors in black blue red and white I'm starting off by creating my first shapes with black this is not planned this is completely improvised so feel free to create your own design as I always say when I do body painting looks the only logic that I'm following is that I want it to look sort of like a garment and the reason that I hadn't filled in my entire chest with the concoction of white and green that is covering up my skin is because it would mix in with my watercolors and it would make them run slightly muddy and not very clean so I opted for leaving the chest bare until the last minute and then I filled in the rest of this area and went on to apply my watercolors undisturbed. Topping off the first coat of paint with a light coat of navy blue and then I'm going on on top of this coat just to have a super opaque result with a tiny bit of burgundy. So I'm creating these colors by mixing black in with blue and then black with red. And then I'm just dipping the same brush which has got all the colors in into my white just for a lighter shade of purple and I'm just taking it quite haphazardly all over this area, making sure that I leave the edges clean and black and well defined. going back in with some pure black just to throw that into the mix again and like I said I'm not following a specific pattern what I am doing though is I'm going back on my face with a little bit of white and adding these white freckles which I'm also taking on the darkest part of my eyes I think that looks quite cute and it doesn't make me look like an evil witch that much then I'm playing with dots all around the end of these tentacles or ivy leaves or whatever they look like to you so dots all over and sometimes it doesn't hurt to go out of the shape that you have created and just add a little more embellishment. So this may be freehand and improvised, but what we really want to give structure to is the 3D element in this look, which means I want to create little shadows right underneath these bits that I've just drawn on, just to give a bit more plasticity and realism and gravity to these things, which we're gonna call tentacles for now, because I haven't come up with a title yet. By the time we're done with this tutorial, you're obviously seeing a title up there, so I solved that problem in my life. But the way to create shadows that look more realistic realistic is to make them a little bit darker on the parts where they actually touch the skin and fade them out a little bit more where they look as though they're pulling away from the skin a little bit. So if you imagine that you've got something like a piece of fabric resting on your skin and then you slightly lift it up, the part that touches the skin is going to be much more intense and a lot darker in tone and the part that's further away from your skin is going to be forming a very slight shadow if any at all. If you go over overboard with your shadowing you can always blend out with your foundation brush and I'm using the same eyeshadow that I used for my contouring to create all the shadows underneath the little tentacles and also to create a little bit of contouring on the rest of the chest and the neck and the collarbones and we're pretty much done. look let me know your thoughts in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye